Welcome, ladies and gentlemen, to Auto Club Speedway for the third race in the 2022 NRSL Jerky Pro Truck Series season. We're getting ready for 40 laps of action around this two-mile oval, and once again, of course, in the booth is the man, the legend, Vince Fries. Welcome back to sunny California. Even though it's a little overcast today, maybe the Terminator is still looming in that 33 truck is where Ribbleton got the pole. We would go back for round two, as I like to say, of Audra versus Donovan Cage. Cage had a little knockout blow last week at Atlanta. Let's see if Audra can strike back. And, of course, we got Sam Young, Winnie Calhoun on road two. And that will be it for me, Zach. Back to you for some more pre-race introductions. Yeah, on pole for the first time in his career is Roy Ribbleton driving the 33 truck that won here last year with Charles Sanford. And to his outside is Sam Young. Row 2, Audra Baranaskis and Winnie Calhoun, a female row 2. Row 3, Will Parrish and Zachary Delello. Row 4, Reggie Fogelman and Chris White. And in row 5, Yael Carrillo, who finished top 5 here last year with Jack James to his outside. Uh, going through the rest of the running order, the only other driver to win here in Jerky Pro history was Carter Friesen back in 2020, which holds the... A series record for closest finish in series history at one one thousandth of a second, which we saw get matched a couple of weeks ago in the Digital Storm Cup Series Corsair Dual Race. We've had a lot of photo finishes so far this season. Going to be interesting to see if that continues here today at another speedway where the high line prevails very well, uh, even more so than Atlanta. It's going to be very tough to pass here as it has always been. Uh, running the lower line, the shorter line around the racetrack. And, of course, tire wear is going to be huge as ever. Expecting a one-stop here, Vince, probably about 20 laps into the race. The, the sooner you pit, the better, because the tire fall-off here can get up to about four seconds or so. Let's go trackside for the command. So, Vince, the Jerky Pro drivers got a week off last week as the Cup Series went to Phoenix on their own. Uh, but Jerky Pro will be racing once again next week for the first road course of the season at Willow Springs, which is a track neither series has been to in the, the five seasons prior to this one. So going to be an interesting race next week with a new track. Well, not really new track per se, but new track on the schedule. And it'll really give us a good idea of where this field is at uh, road course talent-wise. Yeah, it will be. As you see the undulations in the back stretch, I always like that view as they go down. Look at that little, little wave right there. You can kind of see it in the video. But California seems to have a, a history of repeat, re Reproducing, I guess you could say, interesting winners, and we'll see what happens at the road course. But I'm looking forward to that Cage Baranowski battle, man. These two have been the, the two big guns we've highlighted in preseason. Yale's up there. Can Roy Ribbleton do something with that magic? We'll find out now as we enter turn four. Yeah, coming into this race, just two races into the season, but Donovan Cage with a 23 point lead over Roger James. And Archer Baranowskis is 16th in points, 52 points back. She's got to start gaining points back. It is only an 18 race season, so still a lot of time to go. Green flag is out. We're underway at Auto Club. See only about 157 there through the middle of the corner, but that top side already getting the edge. With Sam Young leading them out there with a huge push from Calhoun. lap one just wanted to see that view man seems like this is one of the more calm starts compared to auto club standards as will Paris, as i said tries to go for a while yeah it's going to be definitely hard to pass on the inside line here today vince i'd expect the tie wear to really play a factor in what line prevails at the end of this thing 
especially if you get on a different strategy compared to another driver. So you see Fogelman almost cut off his teammate there in the 24, Christian Russell. That's a too close for coverage. You see it? Yeah, looking to test that inside winder, Will Parrish. Going for the race lead is rookie driver Winnie Calhoun, but Moranowskis is pushing Sam Young on the outside line. Cloudy conditions today, Vince, so these trucks going a little faster than they would in sunny conditions, and that's going to play a big role in the talent level it'll take to drive this track because that requires you to use a little more brake going into the corners. I just think the veteran experience of Samuel and Audra, and there's DeLello, he's also a second-year guy. I think that will prevail, but we also have... There's Audra, just say, say that for the lead. I've seen that in turns three and four, it is easier to make some moves on the inside line compared to one and two. And Audra will take the lead away from Sam Young doing that. Let's see, we'll clear into turn one, but she takes the lower line compared to Sam Young. That's going to let Sam get a bit of a run compared to her on the top. And you can just see the run there with Delello compared to Calhoun, about a four mile an hour difference or so. And then once you get in the draft, you are flying. Got to bide your time, though. This is a track that requires patience. Though. This is one of the biggest tracks in terms of tire disparency in the, in the, in the whole calendar. As you see Delello looking underneath, but he'll tuck back in line as Audra leads left. Seeing some rookies hold their own here so far. Five laps into this race, Calhoun in the 40, Chris White in the 11. We see Jack James, who started 10th, trying to crack into the top five. Carrillo right there with him in 7th. But still a couple of other rookies up here. Morris Reeves, Fogelman. And then you got a lot of veterans back here, but you can just see that top side is just moving down the back straightaway. A couple of veteran drivers struggling in qualifying once again this week, such as Benjamin Ice. We've got Donovan Cage back here in the mess. Mess of race trucks, trying to find his way forward after that win at Atlanta. Elon Ibrahimian back here as well. And then a lot of rookies around here. Not the run Ibrahimian wants right now. Four qualifying effort. Same with Donovan Cage having the points lead this early in the season. Of course, Enzo and the Rezo went from winning Daytona to finishing last at Atlanta. He is still top 10 in the points, however. He's currently, currently eighth. See Vince, already seeing the fall off, already at almost the second seven laps into this race. That's just the nature of this track. It's a tire eater. As you see, they go down the back stretches here. Jack James looking at a lot of these guys, they'll have the draft. I think it's starting to string out top 10, 11 as Winnie Calhoun makes a move underneath White. But uh, tire, like you said, the tire play, under cut one or two laps earlier, get a little edge grip on the field. That in lap, out lap, that could be the difference between 40th to third in a way. And you see Calhoun made good use of turns three and four, being a little better on the bottom. Now Carrillo made it three wide there through the tri-oval. That might help Chris White fight back, and it does. Chris White will go flying on by, and look at how much Carrillo checks up on that very bottom line. And he'll jump right up in front of Morris Reeves in the 83. Seeing the field start to spread out here, Vince, but it's Audra Baranowskis in control. Sam Young second, Delello third. Top three has stayed the same since they got into these positions. Audra's just a pie piper, controlling the runs, controlling the lanes. We saw this last year with Sanford. He did the same thing once he, well, he had control of the whole race, but Audra's doing the same thing, breaking the draft a little bit down the back stretch. as Sam Young tries to close it, but will back off. Same with Delello. Stay right there. 
You see fastest lap on the race does belong to Baranowskis with a 40.567. Delello a 6.54, Sam Young a 6.73. Jack James on the inside of Chris White. That is for fourth place as the uh, James and Carrillo have made it by the 40 of Winnie Calhoun. See Jean Sanford has popped her head into the top 10. As Carrillo will use his teammate to pass Jack James for fifth. Something about this racetrack and Yael Carrillo seems to mesh well, Vince. Yeah, he was up there in the podium places last year. I think it's just like you said, the skill factor. Yael's not a guy that's going to go too aggressive. He's going to be calculated. We know we saw that one inside move as he tries to hear, but he likes to learn experiment early. In that second round of, I guess you could say, runs, he will begin to his charge as you see Jack James still will take an outside chance. Uh, Carrillo had a heck of a run mid-corner there in three and four, but he had the checkup for his teammate, and that kind of killed his move to the 11s inside. And now you see he's stuck on the bottom, and he's going to lose potentially two positions here. Nope, he jumps up in front of the 83 again. So he has been really jumping up in front of the 83 truck. Oh, we got a problem. Gene Sanford seems to have an issue. She is slow. Very slow. This is really jacking up the field. No reported tires down, but I think she might have killed killed the tire events. Saw some of this stuff going on in practice where if you get halfway through the run, there's a potentiality that you could just kill your tires and it just will not turn. And this is killing Donovan Cage most of all. Duck back there. He can't get oh watch out. He's tucked up right behind the eight and losing a ton of time. Now Gene oh. tries to turn down. Oh, that's and that's going to put the 51 of Joshua Johnson in the wall. I don't think Josh is happy. Now the 51 and the eight will head the pit road. So Gene Sanford. Not going to make it here on one pit stop. Very strange that this happens. See, Donovan Cage and others appear to be fine, but that killed Donovan Cage's race. And we saw it happen to Gene Sanford. That could mean it'll happen to somebody else, so you got to be on the lookout for that. What appears to happen, Vincent, it appears that one of the tires will just lose all its grip and it's it's full tire wear all of a sudden to where, you know, they just jump over that cliff and they go from running 145 through the corner like Audra is straight down to a buck 25. I wouldn't even know how to explain that other than low air pressure at the start to, oh, oh there's and it's, Delon. It's happened to Delon Ibrahimium now. Yeah, same thing. He's coming in. That's a very tough break for him. So this is something to watch out for here with the tires today. And it just could be this old track surface, Vince, just really ripping these tires up. Yeah, you can definitely see it's the paving seams and the, the buckling of the track with the freeze thaw. There is a little cold weather in California in the mornings out there in the desert area. So that makes sense, but... Out uh, front, I think it's just Audra playing it cool. That's maybe another reason why. Back the pace up. It's not like last year. This year, you have to be a little more patient as the tires get older. As you see, Henry also must be worried. Henry Sanford now up to 10th. As Will Parrish has started fighting it out with Carrillo and Jack James. As Chris White continues to hold on to 4th. But you see in Delello starting to lose touch with Sam Young. And Sam Young starting to lose touch with Baranowskis. As oh, wow. uh, Joshua Johnson retired from that damage, Gene Sanford and Ibrahimian both a lap down. As you see Gene Sanford flying through the field now. 
Gripping that top side. Fresh tires are king. But she lost a ton of time with that issue of hers. Look yeah, look at that. Just standing still, man. You know, one second may not be the worst thing in the world, though. If Gene Sanford can get around some, let's say these back markers, maybe everyone does do a two-stop. Who knows? I think it'll still be a one-stop race, but if they, she does a two-stop, let's say a lap 28, 29, that last run compared to everyone else, she'll definitely be the freshest on track, maybe salvage the top 30. And we might have been mistaken on the four seconds because Jack Holton isn't at that same point as the other drivers were, but he is seven Something seconds wrong. off the tires right now that might have just been rookie inexperience though because he is not going as slow as gene sanford was he might have just hit that cliff finally compared to some of these other drivers i don't know he's really down the apron that might be a cylinder i, I think he might be down a cylinder or something because they're doing 143 140 he's doing 129 130 no reported issues for the 25 it might just be a tire thing once again interesting look at gene sanford gonna maybe split the middle here yeah, why not, right? You got the freshest feel goods on the track. Go for it. Yeah, look at that. Mid quarter. It's like looking like she's driving an indie car or something. It's like a video game right now, for sure. I see Lane Sanders currently 23rd. Holgeman has drifted back to 22nd. Catano now in the top 20. Max Anderson, same thing. We're closing in on that tire window too, Vince. It's lap 18 now, coming to 19, as Sam Young and Audra have really pulled away now. Yeah, if I'm Audra, I would just play it cool here. Maybe come in at lap 20, get your tires, get a nice clean pit road, and on your way to a win, I think, at this point. Yeah, unless something dramatic happens, I'd say she's pretty much got this locked up. Haven't seen any challengers, especially with Donovan Cage all the way back in 34. 12 seconds back because of the 8's issue. So nobody pitting this time by, of course. But lap 20 is this next lap. Just look at Gene Sanford racing through here, man. It's insane. Holton is very slow now. He might want to pit this time by. But he is going to stay out. So just look at the difference difference between the rookie drivers in the back here. Brandon Mayhew, a 46-7 that time by. Baranowskis a 45-2. That is the difference in skill right there, talking. I mean, this place is not for the, the weak-minded, man. This is one. Same with Atlanta. These two tracks, Auto Club Atlanta, you got to know what you're doing with the skill as you see this big pack here. And there's... <laughs> no one's pitting friend. here on lap 20. No strategy play here. Tell you what, Gene Sanford might be the leader at the end of this thing, at the end of the cycle, but will fall off. Oh, She's yes. coming. Yeah, yes, indeed. She has definitely gained back all the time she lost and then some, but she will be eaten up, and she will definitely have to pit, I think, before the end of the race. No one's showing up here. It's, uh... They could make it to lap 25, Vince. It's very possible. We saw yeah, that I don't in see why last, last year. Yeah, I don't see why you would stay out that long as here comes gene sanford is about to get her lap back she's been out here 10 laps and she's only running 44 sixes but that is also because of traffic and someone has come to pit road and it's the 25 of jack holt and finally made his pit stop brandon mayhew is down pj vidal they're coming down the pit road here so a little bit of strategy from them at the back of the pack, and I think Audra is coming in this time by. Or perhaps not, just running the lower line. Eight's going to get her lap back. Baranowska stays out. Sam Young stays out. Will Parrish will be the first to pit there we road. Go. Winnie Calhoun will come with. A lot of drivers coming in. Benjamin Ice. 
And more. Donovan Cage will stay out by himself. So busy pit, pit road, Vince, but the top two stayed out. With Will Parrish coming in at the top 10 runner. If I'm Audra Sam, it, oh, it, oh, yo, there was a little smoke, but now we're good. Uh, Audra should be coming in now. Seems a low one. Low. Yep, there we go. Yep, Audra, Audra likely heard that Parrish had pit. So now's the time to pit. Don't want to lose too much time on track. Sam Young down, looking like everybody else is going to come in here. No, Billy Kidd will stay on the racetrack. You know, Ibrahimim already pit. Bedell has already pit. And yeah, that is everybody coming into the pit lane, Vince. It's one brave kid right there in Billy Kidd. First career lap led for the driver of the 19. Oh, and the caution's out. Billy Kidd. What on earth could have happened? I see nothing wrong. Why is the caution out? There is nothing wrong here. Nothing wrong at all that I can see. He watched Billy out, Billy. All these trucks passing him. This is for them to be on the lead lap. Is Vidal going to get there? He will. I think that's for them to be on the lead lap. I think it might be yeah, one of those <laughs> phantom yellows. This is where things going to get a little dicey. Yeah, people coming off the pit road. Oh, and Catano just got run into. Oh, no. Oh, and now oh, Max no. Anderson is hit. That was by his teammate, Bradley Ream. Be careful. Oh, my. Jack James was involved in that. So you see everybody racing around the pace truck. These drivers are trying to sort this out. Billy Kid will pit. And we're going to see if something actually caused the yellow or not. Well, there was indeed an incident. This was coming out of pit road from the first group. And uh, Roy Ribbleton's going to try and merge in front of Blaine Sailor here. And Sailor was having none of it. And this turns Ribbleton right up onto the banking. And Sailor with him. And that brings out the caution because here comes Delon Ibrahimium in the turn one, full bore. And lucky that Ribbleton was not hit here. So with that, we'll take you guys to the restart. All right, ladies and gentlemen, after all that chaos and all those wave arounds, Sam Young had something breaking his engine so his great day is down the tubes brad lewis and bradley ream both retiring from the under caution incidents and uh, several drivers pitting there on different laps will Parrish is your race leader benjamin ice second jessica strauss is third winnie calhoun fourth baranowsk is fifth billy kidd six jack james seventh henry sand for eighth carrillo ninth and mitchell collins is tenth uh, Kid staying in six, I think, due to the mix-up with everybody under yellow. So Kid benefiting big time here from this very screwy situation here. Uh, Gene Sanford pit there under the yellow, as did Zachary Delello. So a lot of strategy play going on. Twelve laps to go. And Vince, I do. I think Baranowskis is still the favorite to win this race, but this was quite the caution period. Yeah, after, after what Billy Kidd did, though, he has the freshest tires on track of everyone who stayed out. Never know. I don't think he can win the race, but he's definitely going to finish top 10 in your 15th compared to 40th or whatever. 
Parish pit first out of these leaders, so he has the most worn tires. We know Ice was on that cycle. There's Audra. There's Audra with the move to the inside. Billy Kid right there with her. This is where we're going to see all this tire stuff. It's going to be very, very interesting, to say the least. Oh, this is all back there. Might be another Sanford. I think that was Henry. Slow on the jump. I'm not sure if his tires are old or what the case is. All these drivers on different strategies. You see Audra, even with her fresher rubber, unable to make the bottom work in one and two. Gonna wear those tires out. Billy Kidd, look at this, man. <laughs> Ten laps to go this time by. Benjamin Ice is going to take the race lead. And Baran Askus has been unable to do anything on the bottom. Parrish, don't, don't count out Parrish. He's got that high side working for him. Hunter Braxton is currently inside the top ten. He's getting fight from Lane Sanders. Pat Johnson is going to jump up to the wall here. And Gene Sanford Vince, who pit there under the yellow, is up to 15th. Oh, boy. Good move there by Gene. DeLello, I don't think it's working out, though. Where is the 92? There he is. He's, he's kind of getting there. He's up to 33rd now. Did he take four tires? It says he did. He's just not got that a little extra experience on his side like Gene Billy does. Billy Kid. But Henry Sanford is plummeting like a rock. And as you mentioned, Vince, Billy Kid was leading there at the line. Now ice to his outside, and here comes Baranowskis putting a move on Jack James. Baranowskis knows she has dominated this race and she will not be denied because of that caution cycle. I don't think it's going to matter, Zach, because the other Sanford Jean's in the top 10 pretty soon. She's flying. Ice and James will get the run on the top. Moranowskis behind the 19. No, the 19 jumps up to the top side. That's going to leave Audra by herself down the straightaway. Now, kid, looking to drop back to the middle. Looking the block, James, all the way to the top side now. You can see Gene Sanford at the top of the screen, just barely. Kid with draft from ice down the straightaway. The underdogs trying to fend off the champ as Max Anderson made a return trip to pit road. Tires, man, that's all I can say. <laughs> and it looks like right sides or left sides only for the 88. But Audra is being ganged up on by these three drivers here of Kid, Ice, and James just ganging up on the outside line. James now makes a move on Ice for second. Audra will put it three wide. Donovan Cage is loving this man. Audra can't get the deal done today. That's going to help him a little bit. Donovan has benefited a little bit from this yellow. He is up to 21st now, and he is running the top. If he can get into the top 10 somehow in these next six laps, Vince, I'd say you a uh, pretty good uh, day there. Comes Yael on that outside. Don't count him out. And Audra has just been trying to make the bottom work, and she just can't get it to work. Told you, it's a top-line track. Look at Gene Sanford going all the way up towards the wall. Got Mitchell Collins up here in the top 10. There's Donovan. Donovan 20th, I believe, at the start finish line, but now he's on the bottom. Five laps to go there at the start finish line. Now Jack James is up to second, but it's still the rookie Billy Kidd leading this race. Got a teammate back there too. But Vince, I gotta wonder, despite the lap advantage for the 19, 
talked about the skill gap from uh, Brandon Mayhew, who was last at one point, to Audra when she was leading. It was over a second as they are going crazy back here. Four wide through the trial. Well, Gene Sanford in the middle of that. Jean trying to get any edge she can. Ooh, if she can clear Jessica Strauss here, no, not quite. She's got to get out of this pack if she wants a shot at the win. Oh, Paris tries blocking her. Head right there definitely ties. You see everyone's constantining up here from six down back. And there goes Gene Sanford out of the pack, Vince, with that top side momentum. Carrillo trying to fight back on Audra for fourth. But everybody's trailing Billy Kidd for this win. I did not think we would see maybe if he can hold it off, Vince, I would say unprecedented. Would not think we'd see a rookie win at this racetrack. Well, you, you, when you make a goal, we talked about bold calls in this race, man. His crew chief, definitely the MVP if he can bring it home, but Jack James is going to try something. This ain't over yet. There it is. There's the move in the turn three. We've talked about three being the place to make the move on the bottom. He's got the edge off of turn four. Audra is looking to make a move on Carrillo, and James has the edge at two to go. He's going to get some help, though, from Ice with that draft a little bit. Not much, but it's enough. Gene Sanford is in sixth place, a second uh -oh. back. She's got the best tires of them all. A lapper. Who's that coming out of pit road? That's DeLello. Oh, my. DeLello burned out his stuff. He pit. He's on cold tires. They're going to catch him a little bit. That's going to help Billy Kidd. And he didn't take tires, Vince. That was a fuel-only pit stop. Oh, my goodness. He's going to play a role. Here comes Audra with some help. Audra's got Gene Sanford and pushing Jack James. That's going to clear the 13 on the 19 at the white. Audra is going to make the move to the inside. Now three wide for third. What does Delello do? Audra, can she clear Jack James? Or does he get the run? Off of turn two, there's the checkup. Jack James will clear down the straightaway. Audra will jump up to get in line. Will DeLello play a factor? He's two Jameses inside. Here comes Audra Baranowskis. Through turns three and four. It's going to be another photo finish fence. Baranowskis with the draft from DeLello. That's it. She's going to get it done, man. Oh, my goodness gracious. Veteran move right there. You got to feel for Billy Kidd, man. What an effort. But, and Jack, well, man, what a move by using that lap truck. How many great finishes do we have this year, man? This is, what, three in a row? Three in a row for the Jerky Pro Truck Series, man. Seventh career win for Audra Baranowskis. Gene Sanford comes home third. What a crazy day. <laughs> Billy Kidd fourth. <clears throat> Benjamin Ice in fifth. Carrillo sixth. Morris Reeves, Cody Maggart got up to eighth. And then uh, Jessica Strauss and Will Parrish round out the top ten. Donovan Cage brought it home, 16th. It seemed like the rookie Billy could Billy Kidd after eight laps couldn't hold the line, and that was it. But what a what a run for Donovan Cage, man. To salvage that day, it's a big win for him in the points. But Audra. Great job. With four laps ago, I thought it was over. I thought she was a goner, but used that inside line and kept learning and made the last lap move, three and four. Wow, what a race. Well, I think we've done enough screaming. Hopefully, we've got a little bit more calm, strategy-paced race at Willow Springs next week. Uh, April Fool's Day race at, at that, so... That'll do it for us here today at Auto Club. We will see you guys tomorrow for the Digital Storm Cup Series 50 laps of action around this racetrack. Fine off.